Hey everyone! In this tutorial I am going to show you how to create a procedural gear that looks like this. The cool thing about it is that it can be controlled by a few simple parameters and as you can see as I am changing them I can change very easily every aspect of the way this gear looks. So let's just get started. We will create a new scene and create a geometry node. Rename it as gear and dive into it. Uh, we will delete the default geometry that Houdini created for us and instead create a no node tube over here. We will change its type to polygon and now we will begin extruding the foundation of our gear. To do that we will create a node poly extrude. Extrude. and change the distance parameter so that we would extrude some foundation for the gear. Next we want to enable output back over here to generate the faces that uh, uh, face inwards and we want to create a front group and the side group because we are going to need them later. So now we want to procedurally extrude the teeth of the gear. To do that let's create the node group and change its operation to group by range. As you can see by default it already selects polygon loops uh, that are uh, that select even faces on the on this tube. So we will just rename this group to even faces. To extrude to extrude the teeth of the gear we want only the faces that point outwards. So we will need to create a group, we will go to the tab combine and call this group to extrude and this group is going to contain faces that are contained both in the extrude front group and in the extrude in the even faces group and here we will select intersect. So what this does is it creates the, the group called to extrude and this group contains faces that are contained both in extrude front and in even faces group. So basically just exactly what we need. And the next thing we will do is to just create another poly extrude node and select the group to extrude over here. And as you can see we successfully extrude the teeth of the gear. Uh, next up we will create one more poly extrude group and start uh, extruding the side of the gear. So we will select extrude side over here. We will move, move and set parameter to create the foundation for the groove in the side of the gear. And we also need to create here uh, the output front group like so and we will name it uh, groove. And now in the next poly extrude node we can select this group called groove over here to extrude our groove like so. And as you can see we have basically our gear ready and finally we only need to create a poly bevel node to make our gear look a little prettier. We will smooth its edges, so we will just increase distance like so, and we will not need only one division of the bevel. Do not need any extra divisions over here. So there you go, we have created the gear. What we finally want to do is to create a control node that will uh, provide a convenient interface for modifying all of these parameters. So we create uh, create a node null. And it is basically just an empty node that does nothing but will be convenient for us to create an interface in. You can pre press C uh, key to select its color. It's conventional to make its uh, color black to make it stand out. stand out. We will name this node controls. And then we will go to this menu and select edit parameter interface to edit its parameters. 
First it has a couple of default parameters and we will just make them invisible like so. And now we will create a bunch of parameters that will control different aspects of the gear. First we will create an integer parameter which is basically means just parameter that contains whole numbers. We will move it over here and call it number of Keith. We will uh, select the range parameter and uh, set it from 5 to let's say 15 and uh, because this is about the number of edges that we want to have in the gear and then we are going to go to the channels tab and uh, set its default to let's say 10 so that we would have 10 teeth in the gear by default. So also we want to create a few more float parameters they will control uh, various sizes of various parts of the gear. So one of the parameter will control its height and it will be from 0 to 1 let's say and its default going to be 0 0.5. Another one will control gears radius Again the same range from 0 to 1 and the same default 0 0.5. I'm just setting this uh, numbers pretty much at random. We will be able to change them at any point in the future. Let's uh, create parameter teeth size. Again from 0 to 1 and 0 0.5. And uh, you know, finally let's create one more for the size of the groove. At any point in the future you will be able to create any other parameters that you want to control. So uh, having created that, let's just click accept. And now we can connect these parameters to the properties of the gear. Let's begin with controlling the number of teeth. We are going to simply select this parameter and right click and select copy parameter and then go over here to the cube node and in the field that specifies number of its columns we are just going to right click and select uh, paste relative references. What is going what is going to do is to create an expression that basically says to Goudini that it needs to take this parameter and just pay, uh, paste this number over here. Now as you can see if we control this parameter we are changing the numbers of uh, the teeth. The problem here is that sometimes a number of uh, polygons is uneven so we are skipping one of the teeth. To fix that we are just going to go over here and m multiply this number by 2. And now the number of faces will always be even, which is pretty nice. Connecting the rest of the parameters is pretty easy. We again just right click and copy parameter and then go to the variable that we want to control like height over here. Right click, paste relative, paste copied relative references. And now we control the height of the gear like so very easily. Now let's connect the rest of the parameters, copy radius parameter, paste it over here and over here so that both of the radiuses are controlled from here like so and teeth size will be controlled in this poly extrude node, right? Yes. Again just paste copy relative references and groove size will be controlled in this extrude node so we will just we will just control and set parameter like so and there you go once we have connected our inset parameter we have our procedural gear successfully created now you can control all of its parameters very quickly and easily so i hope this tutorial was useful to you 
I will upload this file with this scene and you can download it by following the link in the description of this video. And I'll see you in my future tutorials.